Hi and welcome to Let's Talk Photography. My name is Steve Perry. I'm a headshot and a portrait photographer in Cornwall, Ontario. Beautiful day today. I just finished cutting the grass. And today we're going to talk about uh, getting your first camera. Uh, we said that last time in the last video uh, that there are certain questions that you have to ask yourself uh, when you're wanting to buy a camera. Uh, first of all, what do you want it for? Second, and pretty darn important, is how much you want to spend and then personal preference. So let's talk about in terms of what do you want it for. Uh, we talked about the different uh, levels of photography. So first of all photo taker and then you go from photo taker to hobbyist and then from hobbyist to enthusiast and then from enthusiast to photo maker and etc etc etc. So if you're just starting off you're just a photo taker um, and you're looking to maybe go a little bit beyond that and you're wondering well you know should I buy a camera what should I do and uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that so your first choice could be a compact camera uh, the compact cam cameras basically are uh, relatively inexpensive although some of them uh, can uh, be rather expensive uh, they have a fixed lens you can't add lenses to them and personally, I wouldn't buy a compact camera. Uh, you know, I think today if you've got a phone, and most people do have phones, and especially if you have a good phone, uh, that's really all you need. You know, my, my, uh, my kids have uh, phones, um, they're Apple phones, they take incredible photos. Uh, to tell them to go out and buy another compact camera, they already have one. So, personally, I'd say wipe that off your list. You don't want a compact camera. Especially if you're just going to be a photo taker, if you just want cameras uh, for going around and taking pictures of your kids and taking pictures of events, why would you go out and buy a compact camera if you have a good phone? Uh, and if you don't have a good phone, then I would say probably spend money on a good phone because then you've got a phone and a camera and you've got the ability to uh, you know upload your your photos directly from your camera which you to the web uh, which you don't normally have with compact cameras and they wouldn't work as well so uh, I would just say no no compact cameras uh, if you want to get interested in uh, photography uh, then and but you don't want to go any further than just the photo taker just keep your phone and you're fine with that Now, if you want to go beyond the photo taker and get into the uh, hobbyist uh, and kind of slide into the enthusiast a bit, then uh, basically what what I would recommend is the uh, uh, bridge camera. So what's a bridge camera? Well, a bridge camera basically tries to be a jack of all trades, but master of none. We've all heard that. So a bridge camera normally has an optical zoom uh, but you can't change the lens. So you've got some that go from uh, 350 millimeters to 1200 millimeters. Uh, Nikon Coolpix, for example, uh, uh, 16 megapixels and has a 125 uh, optical zoom. I mean, that's quite the zoom. So, you know, even if you're into doing birds and uh, wildlife, that, that's quite a zoom for a lens. Uh, so I would say that the bridge camera basically is for the occasional photo taker to enthusiast. Uh, it has optical zoom, it's portable, uh, there are advanced uh, manual controls, and the price generally is not too bad. However, they can get quite expensive. So for example, um, the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV uh, goes for $21.99. That's not cheap and uh, you can get some uh, pretty good advanced cameras with uh, the ability to change lenses for that price. And then you got the Nikon Coolpix uh, 950 which is about $1,000 and the Nikon Coolpix 1000 um, which is uh, $1,200. Now these cameras will basically enable you to do most of the things that a photo taker or a hobbyist 
would want. I mean, you can go out in the field, you can take pictures of birds, you can take pictures of your kids. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. And, and the photo quality is going to be excellent. Uh, but the big drawback is you only have one lens and you can't change them. And uh, when you go from uh, photo taker to hobbyist, once you get into the enthusiast uh, category, uh, there are going to be certain things that you want to do that you can't do if you can't have different types of lenses. And we'll talk about that in the next video. So the, the main thing that you've got to remember is it's not the camera that takes good pictures. It's the photographer. So whether you have a phone or whether you have a bridge camera, uh, if you learn about photography, if you do a little bit of research and uh, understand lighting, and understand composition then with a good phone or a good bridge camera you're going to be able to take uh, fantastic pictures so in the next video what we're going to look at is we're going to look at um, DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and uh, how they can kind of bring you over the hump in terms of taking really great pictures but also the fact that Number one, they're going to be a lot more expensive. And uh, number two, always remember, it's not the camera. It's you, the photographer, that takes better pictures. So uh, until next time, uh, do a little bit of research on your own. And we'll be talking about uh, more about buying a new camera in the next video. Take care and see you later.